Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillahi Rabbil alemin. Ve salatu ve selamu ala eşrafil halki ecmain. Muhammedi ve ahli beytihi tayyibin et tahirin. Allahümme salli ala Muhammedi ve ala Muhammed ve acil faracahum. Still we are in the subjects of Ma'ad and inshallah will be the last session uh, about the doors of paradise. Uh, its descriptions, its people, and uh, its blessing uh, available in the paradise for the believers. You know. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Holy Quran tens of ayahs, maybe hundreds of ayahs, in the description of paradise. Uh, but in short, one of them in Surah Yasin, verses 55 to 58, in Nasab Surely the dwellers of the garden um, or the dwellers of the paradise shall on that day be in an occupation quite happy. They and their wives shall be in shades, reclining on raised uh, coaches. They shall have fruits therein and they shall have whatever they desire. Peace award from a merciful Lord. So they have whatever they desire. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say salamun qawla man rabbil rahim A peace for you, all the, believe, the uh, people in uh, paradise from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also in Surah Al-Insan, which uh, was revealed uh, praising Ahlul Bayt, salamullah alayhim, when Imam Ali alayhi salam had another, if Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein, they were sick, if they got cured he will fast three days then when they get cured he fasted Fatum Zahra also fasted Imam Hassan and Hussein they were children they fasted as well and fiddle with them she fast and then at time of iftar they have one piece of bread iftar for everyone and then every first day a miskin a, a poor person came and he asked for help Imam Ali gave him his bread, then Fatima Zahra said, I will give as well. Imam Hassan gave, Imam Hussein gave, and Fadla gave, and their iftar was only water. Next day, um, um, Yatim, an orphan came, the same thing happened. The third day, uh, an Asir, a captive, came, and uh, the same thing. They gave all their food uh, t- to him because their intention was uh, purely for sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not for any other uh, reason, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted that from them and revealed this surah which starts in al abrara yashrabuna min kas in kana mizaj wa kafura, in the verse 5, the abrar, which is the high position of the people, uh, they drink um, from uh, a glass, its taste is from kafur, the comfort, aynan yashrabu biha abadullah, yufajruna tafjira, um, that is a, a spring, the servant of Allah will drink from it, and then um, later on from the verses 12 to 22, a uh, lot of uh, more description, There is a paradise for them, there is a silk for them, they are sitting comfortable, they will not see a uh, any sun, any heat, you mean, or no uh, cold is there, and so on, um, details were mentioned. So um, that is some of the ayahs mentioning about the uh, uh, blessing and favors in paradise. Um, to start with about the doors of paradise, there are eight doors. Um, we said doors of hell are seven gates, and gates of paradise are eight gates, so there are more, and probably this is a hint that more people will go to paradise than those who go to hell um, by the mercy of Allah, uh, I mean those who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and are not uh, um, uh, staunch non-believer and uh, uh, they have enmity with religion, with the prophets, with the uh, religious people that maybe some of them will be saved if they are mustadhaf, you know. I mean, these are 
details Allah knows uh, what is there you know however uh, the doors are eight you know uh, the detailed hadith from the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, at time of ascent Mi'raj he said that I saw the do- there are eight doors for the uh, paradise in on the first door uh, written or in each door written four uh, uh, words each word uh, is uh, very important and is better than all this world for the one who learn it and uh, practice it uh, fulfill it you know uh, so on the first door was written so on the on the gate is written la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah aliyun waliyullah so you see on every gate of paradise uh, the full kalima la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah aliyun waliyullah is written there and then there are uh, more details are mentioned about good things to do in dunya uh, for everything there is a trick and the trick to live good in this life are four characters uh, to be satisfied about what you have uh, to take away uh, feeling bad about people hasad to leave jealousy and to sit with the people who are good people, not to sit with the bad people. The second door, the same thing, written La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, Ali and Waliullah, and is uh, mentioned also four characters, um, you know, Mas'hu uh, to uh, uh, wipe the head of the orphans, you know, it looks that to put the hand on the head of the orphan is mentioned in a hadith, it said for every hair, there is so much thawab, will get because the orphan will feel uh, that he is um, under mercy of the people and the love of the people he is loved uh, so it affect him psychologically a lot you know uh, to do that you know and also ta'atuf ala al-aramil taking care of the widows uh, and sa'i fi ahwaj al muslimin to uh, go and fulfill the needs of the muslims if he has Anything he need for any 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 work any job, you try to fulfill it for him. With the al fuqara wal masakin, and to take care of the poor and needy people. Uh, same thing. The third door, fourth, uh, on the eighth door is written uh, the same, and every door uh, written uh, some advices. Uh, and he said, "Man arada dukhul min hadhi al-abwab al-thamaniya, someone who want to enter." from uh, all these eight gates of paradise he has to have four uh, uh, moral attributes um, one is sadq to be truthful was to be generous husn al akhlaq to be of good manners wa kaffu al adha an ibadillah and to uh, prevent yourself from doing anything which uh, which uh, will uh, uh, make uh, harm to the servant of Allah. We should not do any harm to people by word or by by using hand, misusing our power, our position. So the people should not uh, feel uh, bad from us. So these are main four uh, moral characters, ethical characters, uh, which will uh, give the person a high position there. Naturally, if he has the right belief in Allah, in the uh, Prophet of Allah, Messenger of Allah, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, and believe in Imamate and Vigilancy of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Also there is hadith from uh, Imam Ali alayhi salam uh, that uh, there are uh, eight uh, doors in uh, uh, for paradise. One door uh, and will enter from it the prophets and the truthful people was maybe the truthful like the vicegerents of the prophet or similar position uh, and at the second door the shuhada was salihun shuhada probably thought the martyrs but it may not mean martyrs shaheed who is a witness so those people who are in a high position to be witness on deeds of others. Maybe the martyrs 
having that position or others uh, of that caliber who uh, are used as a witness that this person is good uh, so he will intercede for him take him to paradise so shuhada was salihun and good people so these are two doors and it's a five doors يدخل منها شيعتنا ومحبونا our Shias and our lovers you know here there is a difference between a Shia and those who love Ahl al-Bayt and like Ahl al-Bayt and um, try to follow Ahl al-Bayt the Shias are the real followers their belief is right and their practice is right in some hadith it says Shia to Ali uh, like Abu Dhar, Ammar, Salman those are Shia to Ali that caliber, you know, not everybody say I am a Shia. Um, actually, then some said, well, okay, uh, what will be our position? He said, well, you are for good, but you are loving us. You are following us. Fine. You are not of that high level, but you are our lovers. You, Your fate will be for good. So he yeah, said these five doors of paradise are for the Shias and for lovers of Ahl al-Bayt. And Imam Ali said, I will remain standing on the Sirat, uh, the bridge over um, hell. And I call, Rabbi Sallim Shi'ati wa Muhabbi wa Ansari, O my Lord, um, let my Shi'as, my lovers, my supporters, my awliya'i, to be safe, to cross the bridge safe. Whoever take me an authority for him, and, and I'm his Imam, uh, so, وَإِذَا النِّدَاءَ مِنْ بِطْنَانِ الْعَرْزِ The answer will come from the throne of Allah. قَدْ أُجِيبَ الدَّعْوَةُكْ Your uh, request is fulfilled and your intercession in your Shias is um, allowed. So everyone, um, every one of your Shias um, also will, he said, every one of my Shias will intercede for uh, other Shias, you know, uh, who are also followers of uh, Amir al-Mu'mineen. So he will intercede and his Shias will intercede for each other, uh, you know. And the eighth door, you say, uh, from entered Sayyid al muslimin uh, the Muslims in general who say, La ilaha illallah and وَلَمْ يَكُنْ فِي قَلْبِي مِثْقَالُ ذَرَّ مِنْ بُغْضِنَا أَهْلَ الْبَيْتِ And in his heart, uh, there is no uh, peace small piece of hate to us Ahl al-Bayt. I mean, if he is hating Ahl al-Bayt, he will never uh, ever go to paradise, you know, that is the Nasibi, impossible. But now if he's a Muslim, he doesn't know the high position of Ahl al-Bayt, doesn't know they are the real Imams and rest people. Uh, they usurped Khilafat from Ahl al-Bayt uh, and uh, he thought that others are also good. They are called caliphs of the Muslim. You don't know Bani Umayyah are bad or Bani Abbas are bad or others are bad. You don't know that details. is uh, not aware. Simple-minded, simple-hearted people. Uh, and he loves Ahl al-Bayt, you know. So, but he is, his fiqh is not following Ahl al-Bayt because he don't know fiqh Ahl al-Bayt. Uh, where is it and who represented it and is, is it necessary or not, because he was told fiqh of this or that is is okay, you know. So those who, are, who do not know, uh, they will enter uh, at the end paradise with uh, intercession uh, from uh, the Holy Prophet and Ahlul Bayt, sallallahu alayhi And uh, naturally that uh, those people, they have one of the doors to enter, you know. So these are uh, some details about uh, these doors, you know. Um, when we come to uh, the description of paradise, um, naturally we know paradise is a place for eternity. Now some philosophers said eternity uh, forever uh, for, has no meaning. So it means for a long time and after a long time the things will perish. But that theory is not right. The Holy Quran insisted that Khalidin Afiyah, not only they are eternally in it, Abada means forever. Uh, not only say eternally they are there, they say eternally forever. Uh, means not for a, a limited time. Now, philosophical ideas are not right 
sometimes you know to say the body cannot tolerate to remain eternal why not cannot tolerate if Allah want to keep him eternally will keep him eternally so why uh, to go in that line so it is a place that uh, the people will stay there will be very happy way we enjoy to be there uh, there is no uh, death there is no uh, uh, weakness there is no sickness there is not become elderly and there is no um, no depression no uh, bad feeling nothing and whatever they like they will get whatever they like Allah will create it for for them and at the same time they are they what to say the neighbors to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah is satisfied with what they have done the Holy Quran said they are the inheritors those who inherit the firdos firdos is one of the names of uh, paradise and they are eternally in it surah al mu'minun 10 to 11. so um, there are many descriptions amir al mu'minin alayhi salam uh, said in a hadith about the verse of the holy quran wasiqa alladhina taqaw rabbahum ila al jannati zumara in surah al zumar 73 i mean those who um, were fearing Allah will be taken to paradise in groups. Imam alayhi salam said, Qad amin al -adhab. He is safe from the punishment. وانقطع العتاب And there is no one to blame them. وزحزحوا عن النار They were taken away from hell. واطمأنت بهم الدار I mean they are um, satisfied uh, to stay there and in uh, peaceful there. ورضوا المثوى والقرار And they are happy to stay in that place. Those in which كانت أعمالهم في الدنيا زاكية. Their deeds in dunya were good. وعينهم باكية. They used to weep and cry from the fear of Allah and from the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وكان ليلهم في دنياهم نهارا. Their night in the worldly life was like a day. What does that mean? Night like a day means in the night they are not sleeping. Always remembering Allah, praying to Allah, reciting Holy Quran, supplication to Allah. So they are busy at night as the people are busy in the daytime, but they are busy to be near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Takhashu'an wa istighfara, humbling, to be humble to Allah and to ask Allah for forgiveness. Wa kana naharahum laylan tawahushan wa anqita'a, their days are like the night. Because they were afraid, you know, from uh, mixed with the mixing with the people, uh, because the people usually do haram thing, they do backbiting, they, uh, they have har um, do practice in haram way, their look may go to haram way and so on. So they are in the daytime they are afraid of uh, doing something uh, or falling in something haram. فَجَعَلَ اللَّهُ لَهُمُ الْجَنَّةِ مَا بَعْضٍ Then Allah made the uh, paradise for them at the end result. وَالْجَزَاءَ ثَوَابًا And their reward is what Allah has given. وَكَانُوا أَحَقَّ بِهَا وَآلَىٰ They deserve it uh, themselves more than others. You know, فِي مُلْكٍ دَائِمٍ In eternal kingdom, وَنَعِيمٍ طَائِمٍ And in a satisfaction uh, which is there. So, Imam is mentioning that the people uh, are like that. Naturally, the Holy Quran, in many uh, verses, he described that فيها ما تشتهيه الأنفس وتلذ العيون in Surah Al-Zuhra of 71, uh, in, in it, I mean in paradise, whatever the souls desire and whatever the eyes enjoy, so they have that. لهم ما يشاءون فيها ولدينا مزيد in Surah Qaf 35 for them whatever they want and we have more Allah will give them more and more than their expectation and so on you know there are many things you know so to classify things you know in the Holy Quran you see about eating and dressing the best food they have and the best dress they have, in, and that is described in many verses of the Holy Quran, uh, and they have 
ثيابن خضرن the green dress they have um, they eat from fruits of paradise or food of paradise and drink from the um, rivers of paradise um, uh, from uh, lemon uh, yogurt or honey uh, or other things you know and they their dress is a beautiful dress they enjoy a beautiful scenes you know there are gardens with the trees and uh, rivers uh, under the trees and so on you know the best view uh, they uh, can see uh, they have the best castles you know uh, in each castle there are um, uh, great number of rooms uh, so uh, they enjoy to live there uh, with them their servants are al wuldan al uh, and they are serving the believers and guests of the believers who come uh, because in the paradise uh, the people will visit each other so every mu'min will come uh, maybe uh, thousands or if the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi come to visit a mu'min uh, maybe a million, two million, ten million God knows people with the Prophet are coming so he has enough rooms uh, there you know so if written in, in some of the ahadith then he has a thousand uh, castle in each castle there is a thousand room uh, so don't be astonished that oh million rooms what he will do with that uh, first of all we don't know the life there how uh, is going to be uh, he need a million rooms or more than a million if so many guests like the believers will come in millions first of all secondly uh, we don't know the enjoyment in in this world we have different types of enjoyment I mean the eye will enjoy to see a nice scene you know the tongue will enjoy to have a good food you know uh, and uh, the ear will enjoy to have a nice sound you know so maybe Allah will give every cell of our body a special enjoyment um, our body was one uh, fertilized ovum one cell and that one cell uh, grow to make hundred thousand uh, million billion cell you know uh, 100 trillion cells in the body so if each cell uh, Allah want to give a separate enjoyment for that uh, naturally he need uh, millions and trillions of rooms and enjoyment because we don't know the life there uh, now uh, the creation of Allah we know the the earth here and which is very big for us but it has it is very small if we uh, go for the solar system and the solar system looks very big while it is very small uh, if we go for the galaxy uh, and our galaxy looks big but it is very small if we compare with the millions of other galaxies and so on you know so on uh, this creation of galaxies and earth maybe that will be the paradise Allah knows where is it the paradise and naturally all that space is needed for the believers to enjoy uh, in that situation uh, and beside the material enjoyment there is spiritual enjoyment that they when they uh, feel that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is satisfied from them you know uh, so they are happy there um, so th this is a great thing uh, they feel there are many uh, uh, ahadith uh, um, uh, about uh, the paradise uh, you know the levels and degrees in paradise um, well in Quran is mentioned many ayahs but I recite one hadith from the Holy Prophet to explain that is a daraja fil jannah fawqa daraja kama bayna samai wal ard the degree between one level and another level as the distance between earth and the sky when al-abd and some of the people they look up and they see uh, light very beautiful light so um, he enjoy and he say what is this uh, he will be answered that this light is for your mu'min brother uh, well he said that was my brother in dunya in this world what make him uh, superior to me in that way uh, 
and they he will be answered that he has more good deeds than you uh, but in that case he will not feel jealous or bad because Allah يجعل في قلبه الرضا حتى يرضى Allah will put satisfaction in his heart till he uh, is satisfied so what I mean there are levels you know uh, okay Ahl al-Bayt in many hadith said all of you the Shias will go to paradise by intercession of Muhammad wa Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam but then tanafasu fi darajat there are many high levels why you are in the lower level be in the high level do good deeds and abstain from wrong deeds from haram because haram has bad effect in dunya bad effect in barzakh bad effect in the questioning and day of judgment as we discussed so don't do haram you will be punished for it you know and try to do good because that will elevate your position higher and higher and higher in uh, paradise you know about the reciting or probably following the Holy Quran uh, it is said from Imam Zain al-Abdi alayhi salam um, said alayka bil Quran fa'anna Allah khalaq al-jannah then he said he made the levels of the states of paradise um, equal to the numbers of the verses of the Holy Quran so whoever recite the Holy Quran say اقرأ ورقة read and you go one stair up uh, so whoever enter the paradise uh, among those who recite the Holy Quran and probably only not only recitation by tongue but actually following all the teachings of the Holy Quran this is the main uh, recitation means I read the ayah and I follow if it is uh, order and, and duty I will fulfill it is haram I will not do if it is ethical and moral advices I will follow so I am following all verses of Quran so my level will be higher and he said whoever enter paradise there is no one higher than him about the reciter of the Holy Quran except the prophets and the Siddiqun truthful maybe they are the vigilance of the uh, prophet you know um, also in another hadith uh, the Holy Prophet sallallahu explained when the mu'min see that others are higher he said because um, they were in, in dunya they were hungry when you were satisfied they were thirsty when you were uh, having your drinks uh, they were standing at night means awake in ibadat when you were sleeping careless about the mustahabbat uh, and so on so the people who are uh, doing good deeds in dunya naturally they have higher and higher position there in akhirat are there special uh, positions in the akhirat yes there are special levels special degrees you know um, the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi said allah created in, para- in paradise amudan min yaqutatin hamra um, there is a, a pillar um, from Yaqut and in that there is 70,000 castle in each castle 70,000 room that was created Allah created that for those who love each other for sake of Allah who visit each other for sake of Allah so much in Islam there is stress that the relation between the believers to be strong, brotherly feeling, to be kind, to be nice, to be good with each other, not to hate, not to harm, not to feel bad, not to jealous, not to backbite, no, but defend your mu'min brother and try to support him, to help him, to love him for Allah and that you know had such high um, degree you know also um, relate to the prophet sallallahu alaihi there is a special castle in the paradise uh, no one enter him except those who fast in the month of rajab uh, and also there is um, hadith from prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam there is a degree in uh, paradise no one will uh, catch it except Imam Adil 
to man leader to be just, you know, which is difficult. Then if he really just, he will have that high position. Awdu Rahman Wasul, the one who take care of his uh, relatives. Awdu Ayal and Sabur, who has many uh, children, big family, and his patience tolerate because I mean his risk may be limited, so he tolerate that, you know. Uh, what is the best thing uh, in paradise? Um, the best thing in paradise, uh, Imam Ali alayhi salam said, Hubbullah, the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wal hubbu fillah, to love for sake of Allah, walhamdulillah, to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because Allah said in Quran, wa akhur da'wahum, the uh, last thing they say, and alhamdulillah, ya rabbil alameen, praise be Allah, the Lord of the worlds. وَذَلِكَ أَنَّهُمْ إِذَا عَيَنُوا مَا فِي الْجَنَّةِ If they see, if they see what is there in paradise from the grace of Allah to them and favor of Allah to them, هَاجَةِ الْمَحَبَّ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ They uh, are very uh, thankful and praiseful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they say, and Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen that we reached paradise after all those difficulties in the grave or in uh, the Day of Judgment. Actually, uh, for the real believers, there is no difficulty. The thousands of years in the grave will be like uh, seconds or hours, you know, it will pass so quick. And the questioning, the accounting in the Day of Judgment, it is 50,000 years of that. But say so for the believers, uh, is like uh, offering one prayer and uh, is in five minutes and some said in a half day. So those believers, you know, the barzakh will uh, pass very quick and in the day of judgment, their questioning is very fast and suddenly they will go to paradise and say, Alhamdulillah, uh, Rabbil Alameen. Um, then the, there are many hadith, but let us say the last one. Uh, I said those of the people go to paradise uh, and sit there. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uh, look to them and tell them, uh, should I tell you something better than what you are in it? They said, oh, our Lord, what is better than what we are in it? We have everything in paradise. Allah will say, my satisfaction about you and my love to you it is much better than what you are in it. Then the Imam, this is related to Imam Zain al-Abidin, recited, وَرِضْوَانُ مِنَ اللَّهِ أَكْبَرُ And satisfaction from Allah, bigger than all what they have uh, from favors in paradise. ذَلِكَ هُوَ الْفَوْزُ الْعَظِيمُ That is the great success. That at the end, we see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is satisfied with us. He said the believers will be so happy that there is no enjoyment in paradise more than that feeling that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is satisfied from us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us tawfiq to follow the path of Muhammad wa ala Muhammad sallallahu wa sallam alayhim in dunya in order to be in paradise with them in the highest high position ma'a shuhada'i wa salihin wa hasuna ula'ika rafiqa wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen وصلى الله على محمد وآله الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم